What's happening, boxing? What's happening, YouTube? Amp, about that boxing. Man, we got to talk about the Richardson Hitchens versus Gustavo Limos fight that just happened last night. This was the most horrible performance I've ever seen in my life from a guy who talks the most trash as Richardson Hitchens hugged his way to victory. He thought he was on Dancing with the Stars. Meanwhile, Lemos is throwing those punches. He throws the most convincing of all the punches. He controls all the action in every single round. He's controlling the pace of the fight. He is the aggressor. He's doing everything that he should be doing. And this is what happens to him. He gets a hug fest. And who is this ref who never said anything about the hug? And he had nerve to get at Lemos about punching. I believe he ended up punching Richardson Hitchens in the leg. The man, look, right here he missed him. He was hugging himself. This is how bad this man was hugging during this match. Guys, I couldn't put up with more than five rounds of this nonsense. I couldn't clip any more images. If somebody out there could give me the actual count of clinches in this fight from clinching Hitchens, from I need a hug Hitchens, from Hold'em Hitchens, this dude is playing Texas Hold'em. This is not boxing. Literally every time that Lemos would get off, it would instantly convert into an instant hug every single time. This happened through all of the rounds, all 12 rounds. Now I can't say that Hitchens didn't do any work. He did throw a few combinations and he had a few punches, but not enough to win this fight. I'm sorry, I don't see it. How is he calling out the likes of a Devin the Dream Haney. How is he calling out a likes of, of a Tiafimo Lopez? How is he calling out the likes of somebody like my man Isak Pitbull Cruz? Are you serious? With this trash performance, he said he was going to do whatever it took to win, and he did, but that's because Lemos wasn't only fighting Hitchens. He was fighting the referee. He was fighting the network. He was fighting everybody. All the cards was against him. CompuBox, I don't believe in that. It's not a computer or something that's infallible. It's people. Come on, y'all. Pay attention. CompuBox is more people to be paid off. More people to be bought out. Everyone, you need to recognize that they are trying to say that they can trick your eyes. If they say it happened, it happened. No matter what you are watching at the moment, you are not right. Your eyes are not accurate. You are being misinformed by your vision, according to these people. Because this was a complete robbery of somebody that built up a 29-0-0 record of knockouts to come in here and be hugged out of a victory. This man needs hugs. If y'all see Richardson Hitchens, give him a hug. This fight is showing that this man needs a hug. If this was hugging, I would score it 120 to 109, 108. If this was a hug match, he definitely gets the full victory every round. Hug champion of the world. But this is a boxing match, Richardson Hitchens. And you're going to call out somebody that has the ring intelligence of Devin Haney. He's going to box you out of your... You ain't going to be able to just keep on running in and hugging like that. You just got lucky and had a forward fighter. And you had a referee. And a new network that you want is trying to push you to be their Tank Davis or their uh, uh, Ryan Garcia or their uh, Devin Haney or their... Uh, Shakur Stevenson or whatever, whoever fighter you want to name, you just got lucky that you was on your network and they put up with this nonsense. This dude should have had points taken away. And if he continued to hug even more points, there's no way he should have won this fight. Period. It just doesn't even look like it. 
go watch their so-called highlight video. I told y'all how I feel about highlights, and if I didn't, I'm going to now. I'm going to explain to y'all what highlights are so y'all can know this is another way that they are treating you guys like shit and making that you're not worthy of boxing. You know what a highlight video is? If you don't believe me, go check it for yourself. Every two to three seconds, it skips five seconds. That's a highlight video now. Now, do y'all know what a highlight video used to be? It used to be some person that they had to pay to cut out all of the best moments of the fight from both fighters. Ding, 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 ding. Remember those days? We don't get those days anymore. They don't want to be, man, y'all could, you know what, DeZone? Call me. Top rank, call me. I do each fight for, I won't even charge y'all that much. I charge y'all like one, two hundred dollars a fight. And I'll cut the real highlights for you. A hundred or two hundred a fight. I will cut out every single real true highlight in the fight so people can actually see highlights. Because y'all is too damn lazy or too cheap to have someone actually make highlight videos. This is pathetic. If the highlight videos show you hugging this much and no, no real action from you, how the hell? Come on. It's skipping five seconds every three seconds. And we not seeing you barely get off. This is the highlight video y'all I'm cutting from. And if you were there and actually watched the fight or you were tuned into the actual fight, it's worse, y'all. It's worse. This referee should be interviewed. They should ask him, why in the hell is this man allowed to constantly hug to the point of being annoying? I would have punched him in the leg too. I punched him in his neck, leg, arm, back, anything I could have got. Cause I would have been pissed off at this point that this dude is getting away with hugging me for an entire night of boxing. It's pathetic. Eddie Hearn, you need to pull this dude to the side and you need, y'all need to figure it out. He's not the one. Not if he's going to do this all night and hug somebody all night. This was this guy's night to shine. And this was also... Uh, uh, Gustavo's night to shine and y'all took it from him by letting this man hug him all night. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves as a network to have this going on. And then judges to give it to this, this hug happy ass dude. Man, Hitchens, I don't believe in you right now. I believed in you up until this fight because when you go up against somebody that's true opposition, your true self shows and your true self show that you need a hug. That's all I got for this one, man. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notifications, quit playing with me, y'all. I'm going to give it to y'all the real way. See, I was a Richardson Hitchens fan, and now, and I'm not saying I'm not a fan of his, but I'm saying this performance, I got to question him now. I don't care if I'm your fan or not. I didn't even know Lemos that good. I've seen him fight, though. A guy with 29, and oh, you're going to hear about him if you're a boxing fan. So I've seen him fight, but I was just like, nah. It mostly looks like tomato cans, but man, he's impressively getting these guys out of here, though. You know what I'm saying? He's a come for bully type fighter. I like that style of fighter, man. And y'all just robbed this guy by letting somebody hug him all night so that he could not perform the way that he should have been allowed to perform in this match. Man, y'all let me know what y'all think. Please let me know. If somebody out there has the full count of how many times this dude hugged Lemos. Please post it. If someone has the time to take out to catch every hug. I just couldn't do it, y'all. I got the round five. I couldn't do it no more, man. It was it was too much hugging, man. It, it was uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable to watch. As a man, as a warrior, I'm sure Lemos, this had to be uncomfortable. Another man hugging him this much. This had to be uncomfortable. Man, shout out to Lemos, man, and, and I apologize that boxing did this to you. I'm going to apologize for the zone because they is some bullshitters when it comes to this fight. This whole fight was staged, and that's all it is to it. I'm not going to say it was staged the performances. I'm going to say that the outcome of the fight was staged. Hitchens was going to win this fight no matter what if Lemos could not knock him out cold and basically he wasn't able to do that at all because of the hugging and the holding anyway that's all i got on hand holding hitchens 
I'm out of here, y'all. I'll be back with another one, man. And about that boxing.